Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this little apple. Okay, so it's got a little brown stalk and a green leaf. Um, so all you need is some cotton yarn in brown, green and red, a pair of scissors, a 3mm crochet hook, a yarn needle and some stuffing. Okay, and I'll link everything I'm using or similar products so you can find them as well. Okay, I'll link them all down in the description. To start, take your red yarn, make a slip knot. Chain two. And then make six single crochets in the first chain that you made. Pull the tail tight. For the next row you want to increase each stitch. So make two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so two single crochets in each stitch, you should increase to from 6 to 12. Once you've increased to 12 in the next row, you want to increase to 18. So one single crochet in the first stitch. And one increase in the second stitch, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one increase in the second stitch. And you just want to do that all the way around until you get back to the stitch marker. For the next row, for the next row you want to increase from 18 to 24. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch. Okay, one, one, and one increase in the third stitch. Okay, one single crochet, one single crochet and one increase, which is two single crochets. Okay, so just do that all the way around. Two single crochets and one increase.
Okay, once you've increased to 24 stitches around, and the next row you're going to increase to 30. So single crochet three. And an increase in the next stitch. And then just repeat that around. So it's three single crochets and an increase. Okay, once you've increased to 30, and the next row you're going to increase to 36. Single crochet four. And an increase in the next stitch. Okay, so four single crochets and then an increase until you get back to the start. Once you've increased to 36 stitches around, and the next row we're going to increase to 42. Single crochet 5. And one increase. Okay, so five single crochets and an increase all the way around.
Okay, now we have 42 stitches around. We're going to do one last row. So we're going to increase from 42 to 48. Single crochet six. and an increase in the next stitch. Okay, six single crochets and an increase. Okay, so now that we've increased to 48, we're going to place our stitch marker and we're going to make eight rows of single crochet. So there'll be no increases or decreases. You just go around for eight rows and that will build up your apple. So just one single crochet in each stitch until you have eight rows. All right, so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so here's how the apple looks after the eight rows of single crochet. For the next row, we want to start to decrease. So we're going to do six single crochets. So to make a decrease, we'll go through the front loop of the first stitch, front loop only front loop of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through those two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, so this whole row is six single crochets and one decrease. Okay, so again the decrease, front loop of the first stitch, front loop of the second stitch, yarn over and pull through those two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Okay.
So you just want to do that all the way back to that stitch marker. Six single crochets and a decrease. Okay, so after that row you should have decreased from 48 to 42 stitches around. For the next row we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch. So you should still have 42 single crochets at the end of this row. Okay, just one in each stitch. Once you've finished your row of single crochets, and in the next row you want to single crochet five. And then one decrease. Okay, so you just need to do that all the way around. Five single crochets and one decrease. Okay, so I went ahead and finished that row, so you should have 36 stitches around. For the next row, we're going to decrease down to 30. So, four single crochets. And a decrease. Okay, so that's the pattern all the way around. Four single crochets and a decrease.
Okay, now that we've decreased down to 30 stitches, and the next row we're going to decrease to 24. Single crochet three. And a decrease. All right, so it's three single crochets and a decrease for this row. Okay, so now that we've decreased to 24, I'm going to add some stuffing. Okay, so I can add some more stuffing after the next row as well, just so long as there's some in there. So for the next row, we're going to decrease from 24 to 18. So we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. Okay, so now that I've decreased to 18, I'm going to add the last of my stuffing. Um, I don't want to overstuff it either. Okay. 
here's how it looks after it's all stuffed so we need a decrease from 18 to 12 single crochet one and a decrease all right one single crochet and a decrease until you're back at that stitch marker Okay, and for your last row, you just want to decrease every stitch. So you should go from 12 single crochets to 6. Okay, so there's your last row. Once you've done that, you want to cut your yarn long enough so you can thread it through the center of the apple a couple of times and so you can stitch this hole closed. Okay, pull it through. And you just want to thread the tail through the front loops of each of the six stitches. Okay, just like that.
then you should just be able to pull it tight. Next, what you want to do is thread the yarn from the top through to the bottom. Next, what you want to do is thread the tail from the top all the way through to the bottom and back up to the top. And this will give a little indent in the top of your apple. Okay, and then you just want to make a little knot in the top so it stays in place. And once you put the stalk and the leaf on, you won't see this anyway. Hide the tail inside the apple. To make the stalk for your apple, take your brown yarn, make a slip knot, chain 7, and then you want to skip the last chain that you made and put one single crochet in each stitch. So that's six. Okay, nice and easy. Cut your yarn long enough so you can attach it to the apple. Okay, pull the yarn through. And then just knot these two ends together.
that will sit in there with the leaf. To make the leaf, take your green yarn, leave a little bit of a longer tail, make a slip knot. Chain 10. You want to make three double crochets in the fourth chain down. So one, two, three, four, and that one there. So yarn over, skip one, two, three, go into the fourth one. Yarn over and pull through that loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Okay, so you want to do two more double crochets in that same chain. So yarn over into the same chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Okay, one more. Okay, so there's three double crochets all in that same first chain, which is the fourth chain down. And the next three chains, I want to put one double crochet in each chain. So one in the next chain. That's one, one in the next chain, so that's two, and one in the next one. So one double crochet in each of the three chains. One, two, three, and there's the three you first did. In the next chain, make one half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over and pull through the loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, you want to do the same in the next chain, yarn over, go into the chain. Yarn over and pull through the first loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. In the, in the last one, one single crochet. Okay, then you want to Make one slip stitch in that same last chain. Chain one. And then you want to turn your leaf. Okay, so you're working this way. Now turn your leaf this way. Okay, so you're working here, now turn your leaf, put one slip stitch into the same last chain, pull the tail tight, and now we're going to work along this edge here, this is the other side of our chain, and I'm also going to hide the tail at the same time. So in the first one, we want to put one single crochet. So it's the same as this side, just going the other way. Okay, 
so just this loop here. There's one single crochet, one half double crochet in the next one. one half double crochet in the next chain three double crochets one in each chain And then in the first chain where we made the first three double crochets, we're going to put another three double crochets. Okay, so just in here. One. Two. three all in the same place next we want to slip stitch to the first to the top of the first double crochet that we made which is just in here okay so there's our leaf chain six Skip the last chain that you made and put one single crochet in each chain all the way back down to the leaf. Okay, so that's five and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of this this is the second double crochet that we started with I'm going to go in and slip stitch okay so we'll use this piece to hold it to stitch it onto the apple Okay, just chain one and cut your yarn long enough to stitch it on. Okay, so I just threaded the tail to the back and knotted them together. So I always stitch the stalk on first. Okay, so it's facing one side and then I stitch the leaf on okay so in one side and out the other And then I get the other tail and do the same. So I go in the opposite side. And 
going out the other. You can stitch it on any way you like. This is just how I do it. And then I knot the two ends together. Okay, so it's nice and tight. And then I thread them, the tail ends through the apple and cut off any extra. So just through the top. And that should stay in place. If it's too loose, you can always thread some yarn through this last stitch here. Okay, and for the leaf I do the same thing, so I'd put it on top of the stalk and stitch it on, and I would stitch it all the way along here, this green piece we made. If you think this is too long, you can just fold it over and then stitch it like that. Um, and if you feel that the leaf isn't secure enough, you can use this long one and stitch it all the way down like we did with the red piece, all the way down to the bottom. I did that with the brown one. Okay, no, you want it won't matter. Okay, so I just thread the small one through first. Just the same as the brown one. And that will keep it in place. And then use the long one to do most of the stitching.
Okay, once you've got the leaf where you want it and it feels secure, you just want to bring it over to this one. Go down and under all those stitches. Okay, not the two ends together, so they're definitely not going to come apart. And then you just hide these inside the apple and cut off all the extra, like we did with the stalk. Okay, so here's how it looks at the end. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.